Hey, everyone. We're live at the Pace Studios in New York right now, Two Door Cinema Club. Guys, thank you for being here. Pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you are going to spend a lot of time in this building in the very near future. You're here right now, and then you're playing Hammerstein seven floors below us uh, tomorrow night. So mm-hmm. thanks for doing this twice. We appreciate you making this this thing part of your uh, New York trip. Oh, it's a pleasure. Yeah. I'm sure it will be a pleasure. It, yeah, it seems like it's been a pleasure thus far, man. We've talked about puppies. We've talked about Herbie Hancock. There's been all sorts of conversation thus far. I've enjoyed your presence very much. I hope you guys are also having a good time here. Pleasure. 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 <laughs> Total pleasure. pleasure. Has it been a, has it been a pleasure for you guys? <laughs> Pleasure's all mine. Standing. We um, have music today. You're going to play three songs today, and uh, one of them is from False Alarm, which congratulations to you guys. False Alarm is out in the world right now on Glass Note, and uh, we're going to hear two from earlier in the catalog. Can you tell us what you're going to do first? Uh, We're going to play Once, which is the one from False Alarm. (coughs) Run away, sugar dancing on your tongue. Anyway, to grow up and stay young, you're getting stuck with papers in the magazines. It's just your love, the strangers living out your dreams. Once in a lifetime. at all You're keeping up Soon you're gonna be a star And that's enough to know for certain who you are Once in a lifetime Another day, another breaking wave Can't live without it Once in a lifetime you guys um colombia is here colombia is here on the live stream and they're very stoked about it i have no doubt at all that mexico city will be here soon and uh, oh colombia the country yeah not the district of colombia no no no. i bet they're here too actually actually the two comments that i just saw were that somebody saw you at the 9 30 club the other day and we're completely stoked so the district of colombia and the country of colombia are both here well, wow. yeah. that's all the, that's all, all the colombia's i know apart yeah. from colombia university they're here. They're here. 168th Street. Yeah, man, they're probably here as well. Um, you, we are here on 34th Street at 8th Avenue right now, where you guys will also be tomorrow night. Um, there are many, many, many opportunities for the world at large to see you playing live, including Mexico City on uh, November 16th. That's happening. Yes, we're going to be at the Corona Capital Festival. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I, I might be there. I'm probably not going to be there, but I might. And I wish that I could go to that. 
festival. It sounds outstanding. I spent a little bit of time in Mexico City and I enjoyed it very much. It's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. Can we, uh, I didn't mean to talk about any of this at all. What I did mean to talk about was the production of this album and the fact that it happened with uh, the same fella, but between London and LA. Mm -hmm. When you guys go back, when you listen to False Alarm, can you, uh, does it seem like a cohesive record that was written all in the same place with a cohesive vibe or can you tell the vibe of LA on some of the songs, the vibe of London on some of those songs? Um, I mean, does the, does the place that you're doing the thing really make its way into the DNA of the record or does it, could you be anywhere and write anything, any place? I think, I think to an extent it finds its way in there, but every, every song on this record was done in both places. So, Everything was started in London, moved to L.A., and then finished in London. So um, it's not like one song was done here and another was done there, but um, we all ended up in the studio together making the record in London at the end. Um, but, I, yeah, I can feel that it's different to an album that we've just made in London or one that we've just made in L.A., and we've done both in the past. So um, I don't know how to quantify it or describe it but i know it's it does make a difference yeah that's fair sure. enough I and mean, that's that's enough of an answer i mean we can we yeah hear, but, we're gonna hear more music I yeah, mean, this thing sure. is way more about the music than it is us talking about the music yeah um what's happening next what are you guys gonna play next today um well uh, is this more of an la or more of a london vibe this, or just uh, right down we'll the middle? play um we'll play next year which was written in la it's got more of a colombian vibe this one <laughs> yeah um <laughs> So, yeah, the first one was L.A. and London. This one's L.A. And then we'll play you a London one to finish off, and you can compare and contrast. How does that sound? That sounds like a wonderfully elegant <laughs> bookend to this entire <laughs> session. I love everything about this. All right, here we go. <clears throat> I don't know where I am going to rest my head tonight So I won't promise that I'll speak Today, but if I ever find another place, a better time for that moment, that was never what I am. Take me to where you are, what you become, and what you.
Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys. Um, is this is this arrangement something that you guys do on a regular basis? I mean, this is going to differ vastly from what people are about to see downstairs at yep. at Hammerstein tomorrow night. Do you guys do this a lot, or are you making a, 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 a special? More often than I'd like. Yeah, I think it confuses people. <laughs> this isn't who we are. Are you having a well? Clear, <laughs> I'm having a good time watching you guys doing this right now. I'm enjoying it very much, and it sounds wonderful from where, from where I stand. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Um, can you describe you some of the, the differences between what's happening in this little tape library right now and what's about to happen in the 3000 cap venue uh, downstairs tomorrow? Um, well, tomorrow is going to be louder. There's going to be more people on stage. We've got two other guys that aren't with us today. Um, got a guy playing um, synthesizers and a guy playing drums, um, amplifiers, all sorts of stuff. Um, we'll play these songs right they're good songs i would play them if i were you uh, yeah sure yeah. yeah i'm sure people will like them all we'll three thousand of them all six people here are enjoying them right now <laughs> the internet is also clapping right yeah yeah dude i bet i'm not looking at the comment section right now but i'm sure that somebody said clap 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 or left the hand emoji okay in the in the comment section this is not what i meant to talk about again at all normally when i say that people are like yeah dude i love it normally they don't say yes. <laughs> no i dislike this entirely um what i meant to talk about a little bit was so since we're sitting in this tape library right now and we're surrounded by like 60 years of rock and roll history i'm not sure if you guys got a chance to to go through the whole library and look at what's what's behind you but it seems like a pretty conducive environment it is a conducive environment mm -hmm. to talking about influences and who you guys love as a band can you talk about some of the some of the bands that you have uh, uh come together and enjoyed together and who you who do you agree is good um that's a that's a rare thing so it's normally quite a special thing for us we kind of go our own ways when it comes to the music we enjoy but some talking heads tapes right there that's one yeah um uh that we've kind of all agreed on all along and um super super important band to to our band we're um, trying very very hard i'm going to put this out of the universe right now but the the brooklyn youth chorus uh david byrne works with them from time to time and we're trying to get them into this room so we're trying to have 15 children with no instruments singing and david byrne at the front with an acoustic guitar and i feel like the more i say that it's not confirmed at all i mean they just keep on saying <laughs> ah, i don't know maybe but maybe someone will hear this and maybe that uh gives it some weight and makes it more likely that it'll actually happen but that's I, the way i think everybody happens. in this entire room agrees on the talking heads so that is the right answer to that question tom petty yeah. is also the right answer to that question i was gonna say tom petty I tom petty's another good. one for sure um i'm just very impressed that this is actual tape right yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought it was initially maybe, you know, when you go into those bars and they have, oh, this is a bookcase. Yeah, this feels like it should be not just... Behind there. glass. <laughs> like we shouldn't be allowed to touch this stuff. There's Madonna as yeah, well. No Dude. offense. It's not that we're saying that you can't look after this, obviously. But. Yeah, no, well... <laughs> I can cut the camera to people. The internet can see me right now. I should not be in charge of anything. <laughs> dude. So you are right. Um, um, but I mean, if, yeah, take a tape off, off the shelf and take a look. A lot of the cases of these tapes have the engineer notes from the George Jones show from 1979 or the, the police show from the Orpheum of 1979. And there's fascinating stuff inside of all these tapes. Rod, Rod Stewart. I reckon there's some... Yeah, well, dude, and that paper attached to the back of it probably is the engineer notes. Yeah, that doesn't need to be attached anymore, right? You <laughs> throw that away. No. Nope. What oh, is no, that? No. Or is that an invoice for something? Yeah, no. Tip. <laughs> Tip notes appear to just be track listings, I think. Or hot legs. Maybe that was just an observation on the day. Sexy. <laughs> You're in my heart. Well, maybe this is just a love letter to Rod Stewart, from the engineer. <laughs> Should I open it? Yeah, do it. Yeah, See what's yeah, in yeah. there. I mean, a tape for sure. Yeah. Potentially notes. Just a tape. Just a tape. There it is. Do you guys have a tape player? Yeah, dude. There's three Studer A80 quarter inch decks oh, that yeah, we transferred yeah, yeah, yeah. all these tapes, man. There's just there's all those decks live in the other room. So Andy Lydon was Rod Stewart's secret admirer. 
Well, thank you guys very much for uh, accompanying me on this absolute digression. This has been one of the more fun digressions that has happened in this room. We've got more music happening today. And uh, what is... Oh, wait a minute. Dealer's Choice, I guess. Do you guys want to digress further or do you want to play more music? We could do both. Yeah. I'm just, like I'm just to trying to figure guess? it out. Um, let us... I mean, I don't know. I'm out of shit. I'm, totally, I'm out of <laughs> shit. Let's let us... Uh, can we hear more songs of yours? That's yes. what people are tuned in for. You can right hear now. one more song of ours. Outstanding. What is coming up next? Uh, we're going to play a song called What You Know, which was on our uh, first record. And it's it's ten years old this year. It's ten years old next year. The song is ten years old. The song is ten years old though. There you go. You we were you were right. I was right. So were you. You were wrong. You were just right about something else. You were wrong. <laughs> well, happy anniversary in any case. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's uh, my grandparents' diamond anniversary. wedding anniversary today. Is that seventy five? Yeah. Ooh. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I just they just told me diamond. Is that 75? I just thought I have been married for three years and one day. So I was just looking this up and it turns out that leather? those, did those what? gifts, three, yep, three years is leather. Thank, yes. Oh. I got my wife yeah, a my bag. my wife just told me the other day. She was yeah. like, by the way. But those Kevin gifts, the those gifts year. go up to 90, oh. an, 90. Who has ever had a 90 year anniversary? I don't think that probably anybody has, but they go all the way up to 90. What's, wow. uh, what's uh, 90? Engraved Marvel. Marvel. <laughs> well, like a tombstone. Yeah, similar there to that, some, but Ouch. actually it is that. Yeah. Ouch. Mm-hmm. So Diamond is 75? I, it's either 50 or 75. Don't quote me on either of those things. Eh? They've definitely been married for longer than 50. 75. 75. I think it is 75, yeah. Wow, good for them. That's fucking insane, right? Yeah. <sighs> so. So this uh, one my grandparents. 75? <laughs> no way, they've been married for 75 years. Unless, they, what, they... But they're uh, like 80s and they got married and they're like 18. It was a different time, Sam. Uh, well, they'd have to be... They'd have to be in their 90s. In their 90s then. Maybe it's 70. Are they, they are in their 90s, aren't they? No, late 80s. Huh? Child bride? <laughs> it was a different time. <laughs> My granny was a child bride? Wait, so, I'm the one with the internet oh, yeah. right in front of me right now, so this is happening and Wikipedia says that... I'm very glad that, that my grandparents wait, won't be watching this. <laughs> No, they okay. Your gram, your gram gram so in the modern era, the 60th wedding anniversary is the diamond. Oh, wait, but it is also diamond in the uh, traditional and modern, but also 75th is diamond and gold. There is a lot of confusion here. It right. could be 60, could be 75. Both of them are diamond. 60, I think it's 70 for them. No, 70, know, is, plat- 70 is platinum. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but I do know that. You, there's a difference between what you call it between the UK and America. Oh, no. Okay. Because there was something like, yeah, my wife told me that it was like, oh, it's blah, blah, blah. Our three year wedding anniversary is blah, blah, blah in the UK, but it's blah, blah. It's leather in American terms. It was something really shit for a UK. Like, yeah, I it's know, crystal and glass in the UK. I know. Like, <laughs> glass, <and> dude. <laughs> you get glass in the UK for your third wedding anniversary. Glass yeah. It's not any good. It was at terrible. All. Something terrible. So. <laughs> L- loam. loam 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 wedding anniversary Right, should we play a song? Yeah, please I think we're better at that than chat Right before my eyes And I can take it If it's what I want to do And I'm leaving And this is starting To feel like It's right before my eyes And I can taste it It's my sweet beginning
maybe next year I'll have no time to think about the questions to address Am I the one to try to stop the fire? I wouldn't test you, I'm not the best you could have attained Why try anything? I won't get there Just remember Guys, thank you for doing this. We appreciate it Pleasure. very much. Uh, travel safely between all the dates. Travel safely from here down to the ground floor of this building for your show tomorrow night at the Hammerstein. Um, there's U.S. dates announced through September I was under 22nd. the impression we were going to be allowed to leave between now and tomorrow night. Dude, there's but, couches. I've got an air mattress. There's three bathrooms and three showers and three bathrooms. As long as you're set up and you were expecting it. Yeah, us, yeah. my okay. wife and I are also sleeping here tonight, as long as that's fine with you. Sure. Um, so that's happening. And then September 22nd is when this leg of the U.S. dates wraps in Minneapolis, U.K. and Ireland through October, Mexico City on uh, November 16th. And then and there's dates announced through the end of January 2020. They're all up at uh, TwoDoorCinemaClub.com and False Alarm is the current album. It's out right now on Glass Note. Thank you guys so much for coming and playing. We appreciate it very much. Thanks for having us.